Hi everyone and welcome back to a new Spring Boot security episode. After creating our user entity, the next logical thing that we need to do is we need to create the user repository and save all that user information in our database. So to do that, we'll create the user repository and add in our admin manager and then user in there. Now, before we get started, I would like to remind you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel in order to stay tuned for more courses that will sharpen your programming skills. I will create the user repository and the database package. So I'll just create uh, an interface. I'm going to call it user repository. Okay, I'm going to annotate it with repository, of course, and this is going to extend the JPA, uh, the JPA repository, and we have user. Okay, and long. Cool. And we need to be able to retrieve. Uh, our users by username because obviously when we're trying to authenticate the only information that um, our clients provide is the username okay so let's create here a string actually no we're going to return a user so user um, find by username and we provide in the username cool and this pretty much should be our user repository. Now, we also need to insert a couple of users in our database to get started with. So I'll create a new class. I'll call it db init. Okay, this is going to be a service. Okay, and it's going to implement the command line runner interface so that this gets executed right after our application starts. And of course, we are going to have to inject, you know, a user repository. Sorry. Cool. Now let's create um, our users. So I have user. Then equals new user, and now I'm going to provide the name. I'm going to provide in the password which is going to be then one to three i'm going to provide roles so uh, then doesn't have any role and i'm going to provide the permissions and as far as i can remember i don't think dan had permissions to be honest but he had a role user okay so we we'll just create it like that so roles this is user and no permissions okay and now i'll create the admin user which is admin admin one to three uh, i think it's role admin and let's take a quick look on so admin and admin also has access test one and access test two permissions Okay, so we'll go here and we have access test one. And like I said, these are just comma separated values. So access test one, access test two. And finally, we'll have manager. Manager is going to be manager one to three. Role manager, and I think he just had access test one as a permission. Cool. So we have our user and now let's group them you know in a list users arrays as list and then we have dan admin and manager here and then we are going to use our user repository and save them all Cool. 
okay we don't need this anymore cool so now when our application fires up we should have three users in our database and just to make sure that you know this is the case i'm going to create a new method a new method here called public list user okay i'm going i'm going to call it all users and we'll have a get mapping just you know users and probably i think this should be named like this we go we're going to have to inject the user repository we're going to use a constructor parameter and here we are going to return user repository find all cool and now we should be able to go to api public users and get a grasp on all the users before we fire up our application i also want to protect the user's resource so we'll go to security configuration java in the configure method and i want to add another end matcher for api public users okay and i want to protect it using role-based authorization so i want only admin the, the administrator to be able to see the list of users and i also want to correct one thing uh, when we define our users if we define both roles and authorities then the roles will not get picked up so because the authorities has precedence therefore if you want to do that uh, we need to put the role as an authority because actually the role is an authority but you know a very big one and we kind of need to define it here and we need to define it with the prefix role underscore and then the name of the role okay now for users you don't have to do that because the user doesn't have any authorities any permissions but for manager and for admin we need to do that otherwise the role is not going to to get picked up so here this is role manager okay now this is a problem only when you're trying to define when you're trying to mix roles and authorities in the same application otherwise if you just define authorities or you just define roles you don't have to do this little trick but uh, i want you guys to let you know because you might stumble into some issues okay we have this done now we can fire up our application and we should be able to access the user's um, endpoint Okay, application fired up. So we'll fire up a browser. We'll go to HTTPS, localhost 8443, API, public uh, users. And now we'll log in with admin, admin123. And now we have the users that we've just created in our database. Cool. We have finished this episode in the next episode we'll take a look at how we can link um, our own user and repository classes to the user details and user details service provided by spring security before we close i would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills just go to the romanian coder youtube page and click on the subscribe button also, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, thoughts or ideas for new courses, just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because I would love to get feedback from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter at RomanianCoder and you can also check out my blog www.RomanianCoder.com Until next time, have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye!